you know, we learn a lot from that and, and, and what it's going to take uh, for us to stay focused uh, on what we need to do week in and week out, uh, turn the season into one-game missions and ignore the noise. And I think it's going to be really important for us, you know, to bring that uh, forward. So we're excited about our team. We have more depth uh, in 2014 than we did in 2013 and excited uh, to take the next step for our, for our program. Duke Johnson broke his ankle midway through last season. What's the update on his health? Well, you know, if you can be 100% uh, or, or above 100%, I think Duke uh, would uh, characterize that. I think, uh, you know, when he left Tallahassee, he was 193, 194 pounds. Today he's 208, 209 pounds, and, and last week he ran his best 40 since he's been a, a Miami Hurricane. So he's focused. He's, uh, he'll be much more durable. He'll be stronger. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's excited about the opportunity that 2014, uh, you know, will give him. A lot of questions at quarterback. What does the QB situation look like as you head into camp? Well, number one, Ryan Williams is, is making a great recovery. We don't know yet what his timeline will be, uh, but we're, uh, we're excited, uh, you know, about, you know, the effort that he's put in and, and uh, all that he's doing to get himself back. Uh, Kevin Olson continues to grow and mature, and we're excited about uh, Kevin, especially this summer. I think he's really starting to uh, to do all the things you need to do to be the type of quarterback that I know Kevin wants to be. We have two uh, freshmen that have joined us as well in uh, Brad Kaya and Malik uh, Rozier. Uh, and then we needed to get uh, somebody with a, a little bit more experience. So uh, Jake Heaps came to us uh, in a little different uh, you know, uh, time in his life than maybe some of the, the freshmen are. Uh, Jake is uh, 23. He's married. Uh, he started, uh, you know, 30 games. He's a graduate student, and uh, he gives us uh, maturity and, and uh, poise and, and somebody that can manage a game for us and that has experience, uh, you know, going into this training camp. So we'll let those guys battle it out here in training camp, and then we'll go from there. Just looking at the early part of your schedule, Louisville at Nebraska, home against Duke just in September. What kind of statement can Miami make early on, given who you are going to play? Uh, I think we're going to have to, Anisha. You know, we play five games in the month of September, so 42% of our schedule is going to be done by October 1, and uh, so we're going to have to, you know, have the ability to start fast here. We're going to have to have a great training camp. We're not going to have many days that uh, we can clear the field and say, okay, man, we got to start over. We can't do that. We got to be focused. We got to be mature. And uh, we got to be looking at every day as an opportunity to get better uh, so that we're ready to start fast here in, in uh, September. You were picked to win the Coastal, but a lot of other teams got votes uh, in that division. How wide open do you see the ACC Coastal being? I think it is wide open, and uh, I think uh, it's going to be proven on the field. Someone's going to step up and, and, uh, and, uh, and win the Coastal and, and have the, earn the right to, to, to play in Charlotte. Uh, for the championship, and uh, and that's good. I mean, that's good. Uh, you know, for us, uh, it's going to be about doing it on the field, not worrying about what anybody predicts uh, year in and year out. And uh, hopefully, our guys are just focused on, on today and trying to get to be the best player and best teammate they can be today. And, and then we'll go from there. Alan Golden, the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes. You look at Miami's schedule at Louisville. They played Louisville in their bowl game last year, the Russell Athletic Bowl. Louisville won that one. Arkansas State, no gimme in non-conference. FAMU sandwiched between those games. And then, of course, at Nebraska on September 20. The challenging early part of the schedule, as Al Golden alluded to, and he shroff Kevin Carter. Miami was uh, the pick by the media. They got the most votes in the ACC Coastal. Now, Duke got the most first-place votes. But everybody is looking for Miami to be back. You look at Miami since they've joined the ACC. They haven't won an ACC title, haven't played in an ACC championship game, and haven't won 10 games. When you think of the way they left the Big East as one of the dominant programs in college football, that's astounding. I think it speaks to the, well, the strength of the ACC, number one, but the consistency of play that they have to have week in and week out to be one of those contending teams in that division. I mean, you know, a lot can be said about, well, the ACC isn't as strong as the, as the SEC and maybe it's not as strong as the Pac-12. But playing in a conference that has more bona fide teams that are proven, that are bold-type teams, and we just talked about ACC having a record 11 teams in, in bowls this past year, it's a little more competition for it.
Miami 46 and 4 in its final four years in the Big East before coming to the ACC. Uh, the team with the most first place votes in the Coastal, Duke, picked to finish second. Only team in the conference returning its leading rusher, passer, and receiver. Expectations for Duke. Man, I want to play.